Hi fellow pumping moms. This is just an update to my video that I made at day four of pumping. I'm now at the 22 month postpartum mark and yes, still pumping. Uh, this is my new classroom. I got moved over the summer and I'm currently working a summer program. I haven't needed to pump during the work day for a few weeks now, but I'm finding that on Mondays I'm a little bit engorged um, and uncomfortable at the end of the day. So I'm gonna go ahead and pump. Um, right now I only pump one side at a time, so I have this part closed off um, and this tube attached. I carry my pump parts in this CD case that I got at the dollar store. I bring two bottles with me and uh, one pump part and I attach this and then I attach this to the bottle. While I'm pumping on one side, I actually uh, hold the other bottle on my other side to catch any leakage because I still get leakage on that side. And then when this, bo when this bottle is full, then I'll switch it to this side. I no longer carry a cooler with me because I just um, put this here like this. It all fits two bottles now instead of four. And then this all goes in the fridge like this and I carry it home. Um, I just carry this in this home so I have a lot less to carry back instead of all the other parts that I was carrying like the washing kit and burp cloths and I don't remember what else but this has been my routine now for um, about a year now almost a year at the one year mark I switched to pumping one side at a time to try to produce less milk so my my toddler still drinks milk from a bottle in the morning and afternoon he can now take whatever milk we give him, whether it's cow milk, um, almond milk, or rice milk. He doesn't really have a preference, but I'm still pumping so that I can relieve engorgement. And I really just pump until, um, I don't pump until I'm empty. I pump until I'm comfortable. And then whatever we have is what we offer our toddler. So I plan to breastfeed past two years, but I'm really hoping to stop pumping soon. Um, because it's really not fun and going on almost two years of it, uh, it's a lot of work. So um, I'll show you what uh, it looks like when I'm done. So I'll just pause this for now. All right, so I just finished pumping. Um, I'm just gonna run it through because you can see that there's some condensation in the tubing right there. So I just run that through for a few minutes. Okay, and um, yeah, I just put the milk like this, and my pump part right there, the shields and all of that, and then it just goes in the fridge like this, and then when I go home, I just carry this, and I leave my pump at work. Um, some tips of advice that um, I want to touch upon based on some of the questions and emails that I got. I'll just turn this off right now. Um, definitely, I would say that stress level affects milk production. So I would definitely make sure that you um, do your best to keep your stress level low and to manage all of that and do whatever you need to do to take care of yourself so that you are, you know, you're managing your stress levels. I noticed on days that I'm really stressed out that I don't produce as much milk. In fact, I can't even reach letdown sometimes. I think that happened twice um, and I'll get just little drops and that's it. Um, when I try again later on in the day, then I'll reach letdown and uh, it'll be better. Uh, like I'll actually get the milk flowing. Uh, make sure you eat a good breakfast and, and don't skip dinner either the night before. I notice a difference in the amount of food that I eat that it affects how much milk I'm producing the following day. Um, I do recommend that you have some kind of uh, barricade. I have this pocket chart up still um, because I have been walked in on accidentally twice even though I had to sign up so definitely give yourself a you know a secondary um, mode of protection um, other things are um, storage uh, I, I no longer put my milk in bags uh, it just stays in the fridge one for one is for morning one is for the afternoon and my husband just transferred transfers the milk over into a bottle if I pump at home, I'll just pump directly into one of our bottles. We use Tommy TP. Um, I'll just pump right into it. And I'll just hold the uh, hold the shield over the 
um, Tommy TP bottle. It's kind of tricky, um, but you can do it. Um, and if you're lucky to be um, an overproducer and you find you have a lot of milk, you can donate to other moms. I've been able to donate to other moms um, because I produced so much milk and we were running out of space in the freezer and I didn't want to buy a deep freezer because we don't have space for a deep freezer at our house either. So um, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment um, below or email me. I love answering questions and helping other moms out. Um, I know this was not interesting to watch as I spoke, but uh, I am in no condition to be, I don't, I don't look uh, um, presentable. <laughs> but I hope this was helpful to you. Thanks.